what's going on guys and welcome back to my youtube channel it is sunday the 3rd of december oh my god i can't believe we are in december already and it's officially summer here in perth and um the weather's been okay it hasn't been too hot actually it was like way hotter um like last week it's kind of cooled down a little bit but i will be heading to japan real soon but it'll be super super cold so i'm just starting to get packing with all of that but we're officially six weeks post-show i really need to get into a good groove of thinking about what kind of content i want to go into recording and creating for you guys now that i'm in my official extended off season of course we have the reverse diet diaries going and of course um, i'm also going to do a bunch of full days of eating because i, I think that's what people are most interested in right now so today i just thought we're just gonna pick up the camera because i just wanted to confess that i had a really bad nutrition day <laughs> yesterday and i woke up at an all-time high today so i'm 46.9 kilos nearly hitting the 47 mark so i just wanted to document this day it was a rest day yesterday it was not a planned rest day so now i'm on my new program so we're on a new program back on the s legion app tracking everything so that's been really really good i just like being on like a good routine and everything but my new split is a three days on one day off kind of a situation so i'm not used to resting after just three days of training and i just felt like a little bit lost almost um i felt like my body really needed the rest like i think i was running it to the ground trying to push the six days and like this the hard 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 training and just maybe doing too much sometimes because i didn't really have structure i was having aches and pains my lower back's aching i just needed to get back into proper smart programming and a set program so jeremy gave me a three days on one day off program so i yeah had a rest day yesterday tried my best to rest of course i still tried to stay productive did a little bit of extra chores around the house we had a really good Zoom meeting with the S Legion crew. So we did a little bit of a reverse diet Zoom call with everyone who was prepping. So that's something that we do for our clients. Just come together and talk about um, the struggles and hardships of obviously reverse dieting. And then obviously um, Haley, who's our nutrition specialist, is there to kind of give advice and help with regards to the mindset side of things and how we feel towards foods, food anxieties, guilt associated with things that we eat things like that so yeah but i just felt really off routine and not training and i was really hungry and way more food focused than i am on a training day so i ate way too much snacks at night time so i hit like 2400 calories my current parameters is the goal is to stay within 1008 to max 2000 calories um so really busted it up to 2,400. It happens. I'm actually really good and almost a little bit more controlled when I do eat out. I just struggle when I am at home because I have a couple of extra little bits and pieces, snacks and biscuits, and those are my downfalls. I am very good at going to a pastry place with friends, ordering like a bunch of donuts and pastries, having little bites of each and kind of just stopping myself but um yeah when i'm at home it's just like a different thing so that's something that i'm working on i am six weeks pro show so i think the weight gain is still okay i need to get it under control a little bit better but it's more so the mental aspect of it of me just wanting to stay disciplined and good and even if i do go over calories i don't want to be going over calories because i've been snacking on like shit quality foods um lots of little mini kit cat chocolates biscuits like all that kind of stuff mini oreos um yeah so i really need to get better at that and i want to hold myself accountable by obviously talking to you guys about it i don't really know who else to talk to about it but like yeah just talking to you guys about it but um one good thing about having extra rest days i'm so so pumped to train today and today we're going to be training delts and glutes so obviously i don't have blake to film me but i'm just gonna see how it goes with me filming myself and how you guys would like it so 
I will be, obviously the quality is not gonna be that good. I'll just be filming on my phone um, so I don't get too obnoxious with bringing the camera into the gym. But we'll see where the vlog takes us today. So I'm gonna go train now. And then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see whether we'll continue vlogging today or the next couple of days and maybe make this a little bit of like a week in my life. So we started off the workout with some barbell RDLs. Since this is the first time I'm doing this particular program and it's been a long time since, you know, I've had barbell RDLs in my program, I tried to do what I remember doing, which was 70 kilos. So what I did was I started working up to 70 kilos and that was supposed to be my top set. However, I got 11 reps instead of the goal of six to eight. And I rate this exercise a two RIR, which means two reps in reserve, two more reps before my form really would start to go. And I would like, you know, consider that a total fail of the movement. Um, so I decided to make my second set the top set and make my first set the back off set instead. So I went for a PB, 75 kilos. I managed a good eight reps and I rate that a one RIR, so PB. And um, like I said, normally I would do the top set first and then back off, but I really didn't want to cut myself short and I was feeling nice and strong. And so I went for it and I'm very happy with how I did in this movement. Next, I moved on to a Smith Machine constant tension one and a half rep hip thrust. I used to always do the half rep at the very top of the movement, but this time I'm doing a lengthened partial, which is something new that I am trialing out and introducing to my training programs. And soon I'll be handing this technique over to um, my clients programming as well. But obviously I wanted to try it out myself first. So I do a full rep and then a half rep at the bottom. I only did two working sets for this one and I hit absolute, absolute failure, zero RIR, push to I couldn't push out another half rep anymore. And the, at the end, I also just did like a little bit of extra partials to really, really push my glutes to absolute failure with this movement because I didn't go to absolute, absolute failure on the barbell RDLs. Next, I did one of my favorite glute exercises, which is actually a single leg leg press. So this one, I make sure I don't do a full range of motion. I'm just focusing on as much hip flexion as possible and as little knee flexion as possible. So the range of motion looks a little bit smaller, but really just focusing on getting the glutes engaged in this one. I did two working sets on this one. Again, with this particular movement, especially because I have a lower back injury, I didn't go to absolute, absolute failure. I just made sure I got a really, really good connection. It was still decent weight. I did 40 kilos for my first set and then 60 kilos on my second, um, working between between a two to three RIR. After that, I went on to a seated leg curl. So just two sets of those, pushing those to absolute failure, zero RIR and one is a one RIR. And then I finished off the glute portion of the workout with some standing abductions. Again, with these pushing it to an absolute, absolute zero RIR to the point where my knees couldn't push out anymore. And of course, making sure the whole thing is very, very controlled. And then I moved on to a shoulder press movement and finished off with a super set of rope front raises and alternating dumbbell front raises. I'm back from the gym. That was such a hard session, but I feel so fulfilled because I really, really pushed myself. I think that extra rest, they did do me good. I felt strong. I felt like my central nervous system was nice and well rested, but I, I really did fuck it up today <laughs> and really just continue to fry my CNS by really, really pushing hard. Like I was at the gym for two hours. We did obviously legs and then delts. After legs, I didn't know whether I could continue and do delts and I did think about swapping things around and not do delts because I wanted to be fresh and push hard. But 
I tested myself anyways. I still managed to push hard. We pushed delts to absolute failure. Even the numbers are not crazy, crazy impressive. I pushed it to the point where like I could barely lift my arms by the end of it. It was only six sets, but I really gave it my all. So I'm super proud of myself for getting through that workout. And I think I, yeah, hopefully my body feels okay. Yeah, this is a new way of training for me, having a little bit of extra rest, a little bit longer sessions than I'm used to, a little bit higher volume, but it's split up between different muscle groups. So yeah, this is my new split and training and I'll continue to keep you guys updated on how it's going. It's probably like a week now since being on this new program. So we'll see how it goes. But so far, I have really made use of the fact that I was feeling nice and fresh. Also, all the extra calories I consumed yesterday and really put it to good use. I will be going out for dinner tonight, but I'll try to keep it clean. And more importantly, my goal is after dinner, not to come home and eat any biscuits. If I can do that, that is a mission accomplished for me. I am about to go for my PT session, but I'm in my matcha girl era right now. So yes, I already had some pre-workout this morning and a coffee, but yeah, I'm just in my matcha girl era. I really should be controlling my caffeine. I'm just loving the matcha that I'm making lately. I just wanna share it with you guys. Don't mind this little packet that it's in, but my brother got me this organic matcha from the Matcha Tokyo from Japan. It is very good, very expensive, he told me. It costs like $100. So I'm going to combine this and a little bit of this Collagen Beauty. It's in the vanilla flavor to make a vanilla matcha. I'm basically not going to do a latte style. I'm just going to make just like a just pure matcha. So first you're going to boil some water, but make sure you don't make it super hot so i just stopped the kettle just before it reaches the peak of the boiling i want to get one of those automatic whisk but for now i've just been whisking it by hand and i don't know why but it's super important to actually whisk it otherwise for some reason it gets all clumpy I think the collagen also makes it kind of creamy, so I don't need to add literally anything at all. I went to pick up a bunch of groceries. I'm just gonna show you what I got. So firstly, my mom um, was at the gym, so she delivered some sourdough bread that was baked by my dad. They gave me so much, but like, I guess that's just like the amount of bread I eat. So yeah, we got like a loaf and a half of fresh sourdough made by my dad. It smells good, nice and sour smelling. <laughs> yeah, I love having sourdough, but like obviously, if someone were to make it fresh, much better. Also, this is my latest obsession. I, I have a problem, okay? So, actually I don't have a problem. This is the best thing. So, basically gluten-free, dairy-free, little mochi. Um, it's kind of small, 83 calories each. So this one is a new flavor I haven't tried. This one I already tried and it's absolutely phenomenal. 10 out of 10. Um, it is 2.9 grams of fat and 13 carbs, so not too bad at all. Again, dairy-free, gluten-free. And this one is a new one that I'm gonna try as well. So this one is more of like a sobe. So again, dairy-free, dairy -free, gluten-free. This one is also basically fat-free, is 0.6 grams of fat and 10.8 carbs because it's more of like a sobe kind of like a consistency. So these are the only things that I'm basically allowing myself as a little bit of a dessert treat, mainly because 
yeah, they're low calorie, but also gluten free, dairy free. More importantly, there's something I would not binge on. It's just one of those things where like I might have maybe one of each. So I have three and then it's just, it's just not something you would sit there and eat a whole tray of. One, it's expensive, but also, yeah, I just, I, I tend to not binge on like cold stuff like that so i know these are like a safe option for me and they digest well so i love them so got some essentials so these are another one of my favorites lately the free range chicken breast kebabs so nice low fat clean option and then i also love these kangaroo sausages and then just like basic chicken breasts this also became a staple for me because i like to do the little um sometimes i just have it not as like a wheat bix thing i just have the chobani with yogurt and muesli because i've been obsessed with muesli lately and also strawberry season so yeah organic strawberries i only eat strawberries if they're organic because they're just filled with pesticides um, and a bunch of veg that I'll be putting into my beef cheek stew tonight and of course uh, broth as well to cook it in. acai bowl i've been obsessed with these lately especially since it's been a little bit warmer so obviously i have it with some protein and i've been obsessed with muesli as well and of course my organic strawberries just trying to get as much fruit in yeah they taste amazing maybe i am feeling the added benefits of the rest day because i've had a highly productive day today even after my super hard training session yesterday like i actually feel pretty good mentally and just like central nervous system like i just don't feel as fried i feel a little bit more well rested i did have a really good sleep yesterday yeah i was like i wanted to stay up a little bit more to watch some youtube videos but i was just like falling asleep like i just you know when you're just like watching something and your eyes yeah, just close so yeah that, that was me yesterday like literally falling asleep um and I woke up at like six o'clock today, so solid sleep yesterday. And then obviously today I trained back and biceps, so that's not as taxing on my central nervous system, which is good. It could be because of the matcha that I did have today. That that's why I feel a little bit more energetic than usual. So who knows? Could be the extra rest. It could be the matcha. But I will continue on doing both, including matcha lattes as part of my daily. But um, yeah, so after training, I had my post-workout meal and then train my client, which usually it's a little bit draining for me every time I do like face-to-face -face sessions just because like I give so much and I'm so like hyped up and cortisol adrenaline so sometimes after i am a little bit tired but after that i went straight to do like a bunch of chores so obviously did grocery shopping i had a bunch of other stuff to buy stock up on um get some wrapping paper for jeremy so did all that and then obviously just then i made it a side bowl which is obviously more effort than usual to make it's like it's one of those things that i think i'll enjoy for now but eventually when I get to the point where like I really don't care about what I eat, like I, I definitely won't make it anymore. It's just too much effort. And I might just eat fruit on the side and then just have muesli with almond milk because I just can't be bothered. So yeah, I'm surprised that I put in the effort to make a nice acai bowl. It's nice to sometimes spend a little bit more effort to make my food nice and like something that I would otherwise crave to have. Like I love going to this place here called Acai Brothers and there is going to be a new Acai Froyo-ish place. It's one of those places where you're going to Acai on the tap and then you can like load it with toppings that you like. So I'm really excited for that place to open. But yeah, when you eat Acai bowls outside, it's usually like super, super calorically dense. So super high carbs and like 
possibly high fat as well, but mainly carbs. It's just like yeah, just tons of calories. Of course, it's going to be so much better for you than like eating ice cream or donuts and stuff. But yeah, just very calorically dense. So it's good to make your own, but it's just like so much effort and then cleaning up after. So I spent some time cleaning up the Thermomix and everything. And then prepping some chicken kebab sticks. So I have that ready to go for tomorrow. Cooked rice, have that ready to go. And then I'm preparing beef cheeks for tonight. So again, I spent a long time in the kitchen preparing the beef cheeks, cutting up the beef cheeks, making the broth and everything, putting that in the Thermomix. And then I'm um, chopping up some veggies to put in there as well, which I went to buy today. So I'm gonna have that with some carrots and zucchini. So that's all done. And then I spent about an hour doing some admin stuff, replying to clients, posting new little real things that we made, but um, I just needed to go back and forth with our editor to just make sure um, that all the captions are right. So I still have a couple to finish. So I'll probably finish that off. And then I want to chill for a little bit on this couch of mine. This is, this is my Zen spot. So I have my laptop there, my phone. This is where I chill. And I want to chill so yeah I'll probably chill here for a little bit my legs are a little bit tired just from standing and all that so I want to chill for a little bit I am trying to learn a little bit of Japanese before I go to Japan so I've been doing Duolingo on my phone so I'm trying to do one lesson a day I honestly forgot everything that I learned already I yeah so it's only been two days so I, every time I think about words that I want to say I go automatically to Korean so Korean is like embedded in my mind now as like the number one that like my brain kind of automatically goes to. I do know multiple languages. So sometimes when I want to say something in a different language, I, my, my brain pulls a, a different one. And sometimes, sometimes it's French. I know when I was in Korea, I did revert a lot back to Japanese. It's really odd. Um, but yeah, so I might do that. I also downloaded Rosetta Stone, which is like another app for like language learning. So I might do that. There's a lot of things I want to do, but I have so little energy. You need to like balance out what you want to do. And then even when I'm like watching YouTube videos or listening to podcasts, I have to decide whether I want to do something educational. I like to like obviously learn through videos and podcasts and stuff, but sometimes that can be very draining as well. So I want to be more conscious of the content that I'm consuming and have a good balance between just sometimes just watching something that is just more enjoyable and just I can turn my brain off and just like, you know, I like watching travel vlogs and people's eating vlogs and just lifestyle vlogs. That's what I'm really into these days. That kind of really, really relaxes me. And sometimes I watch videos that I try to learn things from, like learn the editing style or like different angles that they're doing. And so my mind is constantly active, but I'm making a conscious effort to just really, really chill and relax. I recently learned from a different podcast and video, I don't remember if podcast or video, a video, I think, about maximizing muscle growth and stuff and lowering stress and cortisol, helping, letting yourself recover also involves a lot of mental, like just because your body is not training, but your mind is like constantly going, you're not really in a full state of recovery. So I'm really trying to have moments where I'm just focused on being with myself and recovering to maximize muscle growth. Whether or not that will work, who knows, but I'm just at that point where I'm about ready to try everything. So that's part of my new routine is just doing things chill mentally and physically as well. Lowering that cortisol right down, lowering that stress right down. So I'm gonna chill for a little bit. Like I said, I may do a language lesson and then chill for a little bit and then continue throwing in the rest of my veggies into my stew for tonight because you don't want to put the veggies in too early when you're slow cooking something because everything just goes to mush. Most of the time, all the veggies just disappear into the broth and they're nowhere to be found. So yeah, and then I have two more meals to eat for the day and mini dessert. I'm gonna have that new mochi for dessert and maybe some mandarins. And my goal is to really just cut it at that. Maybe one piece of dark chocolate and not have any biscuits today is the goal. Mizu. Gohan. Ocha. Ocha. Gohan. Gohan. Mizu. Ocha. Sushi. 
くださいご飯Oh my god, yes, Nicole! <laughs> <laughs> 